Hello everyone, today is Pilates Arms and Abs, a flow style class using an optional pair of ankle weights. Now if you don't have ankle weights, using just your own body weight is still going to get a great burn, trust me. And if you're ready to spice up that upper body, let's get into it. All right, if you have those ankle weights, pop them off to the side. Our warm up is built in today, so we're gonna start body weight. Meet me in a seated position. Scoop those hands behind the knee, so in that lower part of the thigh. And we're going to take an inhale, really lifting up from the crown of the head. As you exhale, round out the back, curl the spine. Really bring the rib to hip connection here. And then inhale as you recenter, sitting back up tall. Ready, off we go. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. As you exhale, really think about peeling that belly button in towards your spine. Even look down and see that belly button scooping in. Beautiful, two more, just like that. Last one. Good, now reach those arms forward, take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to lean back in that 45 degree angle, but this time open up that right arm and then bring it back through center, reaching up tall. Inhale, exhale, open up the left, alternating sides. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower and lean back. So now we're getting a beautiful rotation through the torso, really waking up that side waist and obliques. Good, keep connecting that breath. One more each side. Inhale at the top and exhale, slowly roll down, bone by bone, to lay yourself all the way down on the floor. And just shake it out and get comfortable at the bottom. And I want you to bring those knees in towards your chest, lift up from the shoulder blades, give yourself a nice hug here. And we're gonna extend that left leg long, hug your right knee into your chest, and switch. And switch. Really get a good hug, opening up the hips, as we're waking up those core muscles. Relax the neck, breathe. We turn this into scissor kick, so extend the legs. Both legs extend in three, two, one, stretch that leg towards your face. Get a nice hamstring stretch as we strengthen. Little quicker. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Hug those knees in. Give yourself a nice rock and sway. And if you have those ankle weights, I want you to pop one of those ankle weights around your left ankle. So one around your left ankle, and then have this other one just cuffed on your right hand for me. Back in that lean down position. Extend the legs long, point the toes. So send energy to them, hammock the head into the hands. Take an inhale, exhale, reach that right arm across the body and pulse. So lifting up for those crunches off to the side. Lift and lift. Really think about going up. Up, that's gonna help you really work that core and not strain that neck. For five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, coming down. Now I want to extend that right arm and then lift and touch that left toe back down. So a toe touch here, reach and lower. Mm -hmm. 
last two one more good now this time bend the knee hook the elbow outside the knee extend bend the knee extend so it's a single leg bicycle twist extend last two and one let's combo the two together reach toe touch into bicycle crunch lift and crunch almost there good burn out this side for two more last one toe touch and crunch beautiful shake it out take a moment and then roll yourself up let's switch hands switch legs and move straight to the other side even you out so laying down point the toes hammock the head into the hands reaching that left arm across the body and we pulse up. Let's go. Reach a little higher for five, four, three, two, one. Extend the arm and let's reach up, toe touch and extend. Last three, two, and one. Moving into the single leg bicycle, hooking that elbow outside the knee. Really twisting. Breathe into it. You've got it, last three. Two, and one, combo the two. Lifting up, toe touch, and bicycle crunch. Stay with me. Two, one more, and one. Beautiful, shake it out. I'm gonna really release my little toe cramp. And as we take a moment, I want you to take that weight, ankle weight off the ankle, and just keep that one that was cuffed in your hand. We're gonna cuff it on our right hand, and we move into a sideline series now. So we're gonna start on our left knee, extend the right, have the weight in our right hand. We have a fly, pull down, extend, back through center. Ready? Let's go. Open up, pull down, reaching back up, and close. Open, squeeze that elbow in towards the waist. Now if you want an added challenge, you can lift that right leg as you do that pull down. Bend the elbow, lift the leg. That's gonna work that core and stability a little more. Take whatever layer feels good for you today. One more. Beautiful, now thread the needle, scoop under, extend. Stay here for option one. Option two, full side plank. Scoop under, 
and open. Over halfway. Really scoop under, get that rotation. Two more, then we move into hip dips, down and up. Last one, reach that arm to the ceiling, hips go down and up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful drop down, take a mermaid stretch, stretch out that side body but we're not done on that side yet. We have one more move. Now option to be in a full side plank, reaching the arm overhead, extend that left right leg long, and we scoop elbow to knee, extend. Option to drop that bottom knee and still give me that elbow to knee. You're still getting the arms and abs, trust me. Are you ready? Three, two, one. One, lifting up strong, reach the arm, point the right toe, elbow to knee. Nine, eight, it's a quick fiery move. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, maybe take that mermaid again and get you set up for the next side, the other side. So starting with that chest fly, pull down. This time support yourself on that right side, extend the left, get ready. Off we go, open, bend the elbow, extend, back down. Slow and controlled. Really think about those muscles you're engaging. Focusing on those arms, the abs. If you took that leg raise on the other side, add that with your pull down, lift, extend, back down. In a moment, we move into the thread, the needle. One more. And let's go thread the needle, scooping under and open. Keep that bottom knee down or join me in a full side plank. Hip dips coming up. One more, scoop under, reaching up, hip dips down and up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, really lift, breathe. Three, two, one, drop down, take a mermaid, and dropping down to our elbow, getting ready for elbow to knee in our side plank. Option, remember, you're here, or full side plank. Ready, three, two, one, elbow to knee. Breathe, really crunch in for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. So strong. Take that mermaid and then grab your other weight. Have it cuffed. And we're gonna be in a hinge position. Booty back, palms face the ceiling. Roll those shoulders back and down. We have kickback pulses here hitting the backs of the arms. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Really peel that belly button in towards your spine. Hold strong in that hinge and really lift, lift, accent that lift, getting the backs of the arms. Breathe with me. The eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. Now stay kneeling, we'll stay actually up. So stay kneeling, front raise and down. Shoulders back and down, lift and lower.
for three, two more, two, and one. Side raise now, lift and lower, out to the side. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. One more, hold it there, arm circles. Go back to start and then we'll flip it to the other direction. Little micro movements, get that burn. For three, two, one, other side. Reverse those circles. Good, breathe through it, smile through it for three. Two, one, flip the palms, bend the elbow, extend, serve that platter. And even if you have no weights, repeated movements, you're gonna feel the resistance. Really bring tension to those arms. Last three, two, one, standing up, Reaching those arms up overhead. We have Pilates high knees. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. Get that twist and pull down. Getting that energy up. While we're in our standing position. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Now, guard is up. Four punches straight, and then give me a knee rotation. So bring that knee up, twist over, back to center. Four punches, twist other side. Four punches, twist. Keep those long, deep breaths. That's gonna help you through your power movements. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. Beautiful, shake out those arms. Now, we're gonna finish with some abs option to go no weights or if you want pop them around your ankles but that is optional I'm gonna pop mine around my ankles we're finishing on the mat laying down we have crunches so hammock the head into the hands take an inhale Let's go. Exhale, lifting up. For three, two, one. Beautiful. Rest those hands down by your side. Table top the legs. Let's flex the heels. Heel drop down and up, pressing that lower back into the mat as you do. So really try and eliminate that curve in the back. If it's arching too much, then I want you to just alternate right to left. But if you've got that double and that good form, down and up. In a moment, we add our crunch. Those hands come behind the head in three, two, one. We've got one crunch, one heel drop. One crunch, one heel drop. You're getting upper, lower abs here. It's really ripping into, into that entire frontal part of our abs.
Good, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. Take a moment, we move into bicycle crunches, nice and slow. Table tuck the legs, point the toes, we twist, twist. Hold it to one side in three, two, one. Hold it and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, hug that knee into your chest. Get a nice supine twist here. A little stretch before our grand finale finisher. Switch sides. Supine twist. Beautiful, now place those feet into the earth, reach those arms up overhead, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring those arms up, up overhead, back down and overhead. So reach those arms to the ceiling, sit up, back to ceiling, back down and lower. So those arms are gonna help pick up that tempo and use a little momentum for your full sit up. We're on the home stretch here. Good, keep working those arms, firing up those abs. Last three, two, one, flipping straight over. We have mountain climbers, knees to chest. Ready in three, two, one, let's go. Final move. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop to those knees. Sit back, open up child's pose. Take a big inhale, exhale, release. And then if you've got those ankle weights on, let's take them off. And I want you to come onto your belly. Place that right hand underneath your shoulder. Extend that left arm out. And then I want you to scorpion stretch, lift that right leg up and over to get a nice twist. And then you'll feel that stretch on that left shoulder. Breathe into it. And then let's switch other side. Left hand underneath the shoulder, reach that right arm long. Left leg twists up and over. Beautiful. And then take an inhale here, exhale upward facing dog or cobra. Inhale back down, one more. Exhale, lifting up, shoulders away from the ears. Draw them back and down your body. And then let's sit back into another child's pose. This time I want you to take those hands into a prayer, bend the elbows and get a nice tricep stretch. Maybe walk those elbows out a little more. Sit back and deepen that stretch. One more breath. As you exhale, release, gently come out of it. And let's come into a seated position. 
One more stretch to finish you out. Reach those hands up and over. Drop that right hand across the body. Twist and rotate. Gaze towards the back wall. And then reach that left arm up and over and get a beautiful stretch in that side body and lower back. Back through center, other side, reaching up, twist. Hold for a breath. And then let's reach that right arm up and over. So good, back through center. And let's take a couple of breaths to seal in our practice, reaching those hands up. Inhale, exhale, hands through heart center. One more, inhale, reaching up. And exhale, bring that good energy down. Thank you so much for tuning in today and working out with me. I appreciate you as always, whether you're old, whether you're new. I love moving my body with this community and I really do love to hear from you. So let me know how you did. Give me your feedback and please, if you love this, share this with a friend, family member, and I look forward to working out with you again. And if you're on the program, day two, I'll see you tomorrow for day three. Thank you, have a beautiful day.